Oh my god! So, <laughs> I binged a lot of this game last time, and then I was like, oh, I can't wait to finish it because we're so close to the end, but I never quite had time, and now it's been like a week, and it's finally time to play more Prey. I'm like, oh god, I'm a little disoriented. This is a disorienting time to come back to with that much time passing. Oh boy. Oh yeah, screw that thing. Screw that particular nightmare over there. Okay, we need to review the map. My goal is to fabricate. That's a dispenser that's not really going to help me very much. Did I ever find- weren't there escape pods nearby? I want- I wanted to see if the, uh, if the cook might be nearby. But this place is disorienting, so I was able to stash that guy. And my goal is to fabricate the null wave device. So I need to find my way to a fabricator primarily, right? Which I would do by going probably back out into the main room, actually. Go for it. Whatever's happening behind me doesn't sound like a great sound, honestly. Oh, that's not a great sign. There's a sprinkler system there. Uh. Uh. This is... Uh, I'll find my way. It's cool. We're just flying around in this room now. That makes sense. Nothing is... Okay. Oh, fuck that. Does it know I'm here? Is it going to attack me? Not getting the best signs at the moment. I think I'm trying to go here? Uh... It was easy to tell where I was when I was walking. Is this how I get? No? Crap. I'm trying to get... You know what? Let's just... Maybe I should just hop on deep storage or something. Oh. Excuse me. Deep storage is gone. Unless I want to go outside, which I don't. Okay. I was just trying to find the, the way I the replicator we originally found when I first got to this zone. But I'm getting really turned around because I'm flying now. There's murder on my sense of direction. And I'm also worried of getting murdered. That's where I always get attacked. Oh, crap. Ow. 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 Oh, crap. Forget about that. I totally forget about the part where, like, if you go too fast, you actually cause physical damage to yourself. Because you hit something and then, boom, that physics does damage. I'm trying to find that one open door. Ow. I think it's through here. Oh, slow down. I'm being chased right now, aren't I? Oh, crap. I think it's this way. I'm trying to take sharp corners while in the flight mode is pretty funny. The way I've never had to move before is having to try to take sharp corners like this. I'm sorry, does that thing take damage or what? Let's find out. Huh. Didn't really expect the answer to be yes. Critical attack against question mark. That's encouraging. Scan it. Oh, you're, oh, you're scanning each individual chunk of it. Uh. Help with their glass complete. That's a whole other question. We'll get to it. Uh, research. Apex Tendulil. No entries found. Please contact Dr. Hans Kelstrup, director of Psychotronics. A tiny part of the Apex intent on devouring everything in its path. Attracted to movement. No way to permanently kill these. Use Null Wave or Q-Beam to beat them back. Or to shoot it, apparently. No, you broke my thing. Help Luther Glass failed? Wait, what? Which objective is failing now? 
Everything's going to shit all at the same time right now. What did Luther Glass... ...want? Luther Glass... Um... A lot of shit to try to juggle right now, and everything's going to shit... Survive Doll's operating ambush. Wait, what? Wait. What? I'm confused right now. Isn't Luther Glass the guy that's been dead the entire game? Like we got to the we got to Trauma Center and he was a he was a corpse. Just lying on the gurney. Like, I've interacted with his body before. He's just a dead guy, right? So there's- that was the whole thing, is like, there's no one to save. I go to- I go to Trauma Center, and it was just an ambush by Doll, and that's it. So why did I then fail this objective? Shouldn't it have- shouldn't the quest have gone away the moment it was revealed to be a trap? Or is there also actually a Luther Glass? Is the body not actually Luther Glass somehow? But then, even then, like, how the hell would you tell? Alright, well, I got a new problem now, which is that I have no idea how to even get to a fabricator. Because that one's destroyed. Oh wait, was it destroyed or just out of power? Crap. I, th I think I remember seeing a lightning bolt symbol. Is there just a power problem in that room? That's the recycler, that's the fabricator. It might just be out of power. Like, can I re-establish power in here? Also, these things respawn fast. They didn't seem to the first time. Is it because I need to hurt the thing itself like that? Um... This room seems kind of unhelpful. Uh, well, how would I even fix the power? This is usually a touchpad or something? Oh, you. You might be- you might be able to do it. No? You're blank. I can't interact with you. Okay, let's try going towards the reactor waypoint then. Such a weird chaotic- oh, is that a- oh no, that's just the door, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I learned that you guys are kind of easy to kill now, so you're less scary. But you're persistent. Always breaking my turrets. This game can't take a break from breaking all my turrets. Break. Take a break. Huh. Funny that. Why has it always got to be breaking all my turrets? Just rude at some point. Morgan. Oh, gravity. You anticipated the kind of appeal Alex would make. Sibling bonds. History. You programmed me to refute him point by point. However, we can skip that. A Typhon the size of a skyscraper is currently eating Talos 1 for lunch. Ergo, Alex is wrong. Destroy the station, just as you planned. The blast will take the monster down with it. Destroy the station? But didn't you hear him? The null way. Alex is correct. It could work and preserve what we have learned here. We have to try. Igwe. Look at the alien outside the station. Of course it's a risk, but we've seen the generator work. To destroy all this, to murder a species, and the research lost, it's... January is right, Morgan. We can't let these things get back to Earth, even if one of them hit Earth's side. Morgan, please. Destroying the station should be the last option, not the first. Dr. Yu, Dr. Igwe. 
We have the subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can. Taking him to Neuromod. Okay. I'll make my way over. Everything's going on here. Where? Illusion spoke to me? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Put you away. What the hell is that thing out there? Uh, it's not great news. You're weirdly safe here so far. We don't have much time, Morgan. I disagree strongly with people who advocate for the removal of instructive consequences because they want to live in a world where no personal pleasure is ever denied. This is it. Either you destroy Talos One, or that creature destroys us. Morgan? I can't tell 100% for sure, but it almost feels- oh. One. Morgan, read me. Last. Uh, Daniel Show. Last thing, O2 almost gone. Imposter Cook, escaped volunteer, Luca Golubkin. V-01... O one O one zero one numbers. Track him. Security Combat Volunteer Quarters, Neuromod Division. Okay. Neuromod Division. Is there gonna be- don't let him get away. Is, is she dying? Why won't she get back inside the damn ship? Why is she s I don't understand why she's so intent on staying outside that she's literally gonna die out there. Let's see, one way or another I can always just make this thing. device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Use your cytoscope to locate the exact spot. Okay. Ah. So my voice is obviously familiar. I probably sound more tired than usual. It's been never ending. Setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods. The risk is substantial, but if we succeed, copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is going to change everything. So, I'm putting myself in the sim. I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized. One last safety measure. Let me introduce October. Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no hello. going back. If when they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. If you're listening to this, that's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talus 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea. But I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So, you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do. Oh my god, it's so confusing trying to figure out what side to go on with the story. Where the- Where's the staircase? Oh, you son of a bitch. I needed that. I needed that ladder. Staircase. Ah. There's the reactor console. Okay, so that, that's even more confusing now. So Morgan created October, but we met January and December, which are different from October. And they've been telling me what to do. And we've already tried listening to December, but that gets you killed. Uh, or gets you unplugged from the Matrix, essentially. But then you have January, apparently. Who is telling us to do stuff this entire game. She wants me to destroy everything. And honestly, the... It feels like a false choice at, a lot of the time. They say, they're they saying, like, embrace what your brother says or destroy the station are phrased as being, like, your two options. But I don't think that's true. That doesn't seem like it should be the only two options. It seems like it should be an option for me to choose not to destroy the station, wipe out the alien completely, but then also don't believe my brother and don't side with what his way of thinking. Like, if I can wipe out all the Typhon without killing us all, isn't that 
the best of both worlds. We get rid of the Typhon problem, but we also don't suicide. If it's if it can work, then it can work. So the only concern here is whether or not is is if it's, it's if, if we can't get rid of the Typhon, but we haven't tried yet. So surely I should try to do the ner the null wave transmitter to wipe out the Typhon, and then if that doesn't work, then I can blow up the station. Like that that seems like it's completely reasonable, unless I'm missing some detail here. I don't, because I don't agree with uh, Alex, but I also don't agree that we need to what, kill everyone. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. If I scan the apex, I get suffering. Huh. Huh. Let's run the neuro mods. The so obvious question is, uh, also we have the addition- we have the additional... Nope. Nope. There we go. Let's see, any additional notes? That's not the one I was going for. Why is Coral Node right here? I don't think I've read you yet either, to be fair. I'm trying to get to... Tendril? Telepath. Apex Tendril, there we go. Morgan's notes, a tiny part of the apex, intent on devouring everything in its path, and uh, attracted to movement, no way to permanently kill these. Use, uh, so same thing as before. Oh, uh, well. Coral node. Out of all the sa samples recovered from the Verona 1 site, none have prov uh, proved as perplexing as the coral. It's unclear at the moment whether it is some sort of new Typhon species or something as simple as waste material from the weavers. Preliminary research shows a surprising similarity to neural networks but further study is warranted. Microscopic elements demonstrate strong cor uh, correlation between patterns of connections with within the coral and connectomines to volunteers, employees, and guests found in Transtar's database. Recommended exhaustive pattern matching. E early conjecture of the psyche of Typhon victims is recreated or stored within the coral. Purpose unknown. Macro-level analysis of the coral also shows re resemblance to a n neural network like a vast disembodied nervous system, evidence of increasingly frequent and rapid signaling between elements, as well as broadcasting neurotic, uh, neotic signatures outside itself. A bunch of errors, things not responding. Morgan's note, one big Typhon communication beacon, but who is it calling? Well, we know now. We seem to know now. Well, I'm not really having to fight Typhon lately, am I? The usual ones, I mean. Maybe they all merge together. So, we have an additional issue here, which is that apparently the Null Wave Transmitter... It sounds like October's the real thing that we use to to make sure that I still know what to do after I woke up from all the stuff. And then, uh, then on top of that, we have the issue of, like, apparently I made the Null Wave Transmitter in the first place to wipe out the Typhon intentionally, so that actually the Null Wave Transmitter is my plan? Even though I'm... like, Alex is telling me to do it? Unless October's also fake and that memory's also fake, because for all we know, they can just replicate people's voices, so I don't even know if any of these recordings are real, ultimately. I mean, we've, in fact, in fact we've, uh, an actual, this is an important setup and payoff possibility, is that we've established in the main story as a mandatory piece of progression is that you have to replicate Danielle Show's voice in order to continue in the game. Uh, and so you have to know that that exists in the game already, which means that any of these people could be replicating, replicating my voice to, uh, lie about who I am. So, like, even when I do the thing where I, like, even when I build the thing, when I build the thing that, uh, Alex wants me to build, and it, and it gives me the information about October and how this was all my plan, for all I know, that's not believable either, because how the hell could I ever tell? Ah. There's basically no foolproof way of communicating to myself what, uh, what my own intentions are in a, in a world where you can remove your memories because every other form of evidence could be fabricated very easily. Dr. Yu. Morgan. I was afraid you wouldn't make it. The subject... doll has been... secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station, and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. 
remember, if this works, say nothing. Activate the neuromod removal process. Form a neurotomy. Engage surgical harness. This procedure will extract a designated neuromod from the subject, returning the subject. Back to the inception. I'm trying to read. <laughs> and he should forget his assignment here. Returning the subject's memory to a period before the extracted neuromod was installed. Shut up! I'm reading. Neural scan. Walter Dahl. Patient connectomy must be updated with recent neural scan in order to perform a successful apto regressive neurotomy. We need to engage the surgical harness. If you're having second thoughts, performing the extraction can't set us back any more than we already are. Except for time. This is brain scan. Debrief. Subject may be confused about upon awakening from their opto-regressive neurotomy and should show erratic behavior. The following okay. audio will assist patients in understanding what has happened and ease their shock. Did I play it or, or, or not play it, I wonder, when I do it? Let's start the neuro neurotomy. neurotomy. What? Who are you? Morgan? Your father's been asking about you. And Alex. I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up. Where am I? Why am I restrained? Commander. Dahl. I am Dr. Igwe. Chief physician here. You've... I've seen your face in the company directory. Alex's pet. The discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station, or Transtar will black box me. Little do, little do they know that he's doing the opposite of his orders. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. Yay! More neuromods. Do I even have anything to spend them on at this point? Can put them into wrenching to level up my wrenching skill, or psi hypo powers and psi pool. Let's make that psi pool super big because it makes the meter bigger, and that makes me feel better about myself. Lead Look how way. big that meter is. We'll how catch up. big that meter is. Lead the way. Lead the way implies you're going to follow me, but it sounds like you're not going to follow me. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. You're impressed, except for the part where you uh, think that we're going to end everything. We'll meet you there, Morgan. The important thing is to, to know is that based on the false ending we got, that this is likely all a test of some kind. And so it might be that saving everybody and finding, uh, ignore, like, if I reject both people, I reject Alex and I reject January, and I'm like, no, we're gonna wipe out the Typhon with the Null Wave, but we're also, like, also Alex is wrong, and we're not going to support his decision making, but also we're gonna save everyone and not get everyone killed, or at least save a bunch of people or something. Like, that's, because obviously I can't save everyone at this point. Stuff has happened <laughs> along the way. But, uh... Saving people along the way and doing these other things like this, uh, this accumulates into like a overall like net positive. And maybe that was the test, is to see if I could accomplish this kind of thing. Or if I would accomplish this kind of thing. Woo! I don't want this game to end, I like it a lot. I really like this game. I don't think I can bring myself to do a second playthrough. 
quite for the channel just because of sheer time. Because given infinite time, I'd be like, let's do a let's do an alternate playthrough of Prey and Dis and both Dishonored games and both of the new Deus Ex games. But that time's probably rather spent. I'd prefer to. I think I'd, I'm better off uh, playing new games instead of repeating the old games. Usually, after all, sooner or later I have to get around get around to the first two Deus Ex games. Maybe even that shit one that no one wants to talk about. I'm not even talking about two. <laughs> talking about the other one. Ugh. The fall. So that's another waiting que quest. Daniel, so imposter cook. Oh wait. Volunteer quarters in the Neramod division. Oh, gotta go back. Crap. Crap. Forgot that they were saying that I gotta go to this new other place that I don't think I've used before to track the person. They do. We're gonna go back in there. Cause you bet I'm going after this damn cook, even after everything that's happened. He should be he should be kind of low priority right now. I should be focusing on blowing everything up and dealing with anything that I need to deal with and then and then being like, let's track down the cook and take them out. Although knowing how video games work. Uh, that are structured like this in particular, there's a good chance the game ends at that point. A lot of open world games and RPG games let you keep playing after you finish them, but this Dishonored Deus Ex general feel game generally don't let you do anything after they're done, usually. Let's see. This isn't gonna work. I need to go to Volunteer. Volunteer was upstairs. Screw your glass! Hello again. Uh... Try this one? I thought there was another door around here that helped me get where I was trying to go. That's a circle. Oh right, that's where I, that's where the balcony I jumped off of. Yeah, we're up we're upstairs now. Okay, good. Volunteer quarters. That's you, man. This was much earlier in the playthrough. Haven't been here for a while. Oh, it's our first poltergeist location. Oh, look at this place being all lit up. Weird. You're so free to navigate without much danger right now because I'm not being attacked constantly. Is that him? Three seven. No one else is alive. Let's see. Did the last two digits ever repeat? Looking for another 3-7. There's no other 3-7s. Okay. So was he 3-7? Yes. Okay. So the last two digits are enough to go on. I don't have to go past that. So I'm going to tell us one bridge. Okay. Well, that's where I was. So that's... I can make do with that. You tried to kill me multiple times and killed several other people. And now you must stop. You broke up the lev the lesbian love interest the love interest family group thing. And you killed the G you killed the dungeon master. How could you? You killed a fantasy world. You're in a fantasy world and you killed a fantasy world. What well, fucking hypocrite? <laughs> oh. Oh. Where is he? How is he there if he's in the lobby? What? I said he's in the lobby? Let's try life support. Maybe he's down the bottom part. No, he's up top. Is he moving? His waypoint feels like it's moving. Also, am I about to hurt myself by going up through there? Oh wow, what if he is actually, like, moving from place to place on the map? Actively. So then we're gonna be going back into no gravity zone then.
Let's get the one hacked operator still just hanging out over here. Okay, so thank you, Danielle Show. You were able to get you were able to give me one last update. I don't still don't know why you're killing yourself though. That's really I don't. <laughs> it's a weird decision. Is she just that afraid of the cook that she doesn't want to go out back out back in for fear of getting attacked? Forty two meters, it's like right there. I can't get there from here, can I? I don't think there's a connecting hallway or vent or anything. Ah. I'm bouncing. Weird stuff going on. Okay, nope. Ah. Go, go, go. He's over here, apparently. Being a prick. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was an abrupt death. <laughs> I guess I hit... It's only like a marginally damaging, like, slightly irritating foe. Until you touch the wrong particle, and then you instantly die. <laughs> The shotgun's really the only weapon that matters. Just like in every other game that has a shotgun. Shotgun is best gun in all games, forever. At all ranges. <laughs> is that where the escape pods were? Because I figured he'd be going for the escape pods because he wants off the station. But I'm bad at keeping track of some of these directions in this place. Oh, the bridge. That makes sense. The bridge escape pods. Those are the ones. Those are the specific escape pods where nothing happened. We just got there and we're like, well, this place is empty no. and uneventful. I think I even commented on that earlier in the playthrough where I was like, he probably went to those escape pods that seemed kind of unimportant. Like every escape pod had something going on, especially the first one we got to was like full of crazy stuff going on. Like, and the people that were trying to break out. 